What is mat count? Mat count is the amount of materials you have. I usually use the terms mat count, mat economy. Or sometimes I just call it economy. It's really the only, well, I guess you could consider bullets and other stuff economy. But, mat economy. That's typically what I mean, is just how many mats you have. SMG ruined the game? No, I don't think I ruined the game. It's a weird push. I think a lot of people, uh... I think, I think Epic, truth, truthfully, 100%, I think even the P90, or all this spray meta shit, like, I don't think it's bad. Well, no, it's, I think it's bad in the current state. Epic needs to add a way for people to disengage in fights without it being just fucking turtling that doesn't require building. If they had that, if they had that additional layer of depth, on top of that, I wouldn't have an issue with SMGs as much as I do. Like bouncers, for example. If bouncers were more common, if everybody had bouncers, or, or something like bouncers, I think you would be able to see a lot more dynamic shit happen in the game. Um, and, and things would be a lot more interesting. People wouldn't really care as much about people phasing through their walls and chasing somebody down. You know, if you have a P90 chasing somebody while you have a P90, wouldn't be as viable anymore because that, you know that person's just gonna disengage because they have the the whatever it's called. So I think I think Fortnite the formula is perfect. I just think you need one more thing. I think they need to step out of their boundaries as to what a battle royale is and make it something that's not lootable. Make it something that's applied or on every character before you even go into the game. You know what I mean? Like, for example, this situation. The situation wouldn't be a thing if that item was in the game where you're in a pinch between six other players in the lobby and they're all throwing explodes at you. It would allow for a lot more... I think it would bring in a lot more skill to the game. A lot more interesting gameplay, especially in pro play and in casual play. It's risky business though, man, because you're you're really you're really attacking the core of the game and, and changing it. So I think it would need to be something that's tested in uh, LTM, uh, some sort of LTM with like oh thruster boots or some bullshit. But it's a risky move, man. That's not something. That's not that's not games. You know what I mean? That's not something you can just play with. You can't just fuck around with mechanics like that. Sword with the dash? Yeah, your pickaxes have like abilities or some shit. So whenever you're holding out your pickaxe or something, you have, you know, you apply it before a game. You have the fucking, you have the speed boost gem on your pickaxe. You have the thruster thing on your pickaxe. What's another movement based thing that they could do? You have... You could parachute with your pickaxe when you have your pickaxe out and you activate the, the gem on it. Those three options alone, you place one, you place it on before the match begins and, and you can see what happens. Double jump, I don't know. It's another, it's another decent example or another decent thing that they could do. Pay to win though? No, it wouldn't be pay to win. Everybody has all the gems. But no parachute gem. All I'm saying parachute gem can be cool, dude. That's all I'm saying. Parachute enhancement on your pickaxe could be pretty ill. Think about it. You don't got a rift, okay? Just build up, fucking parachute out of here, dude. You have a lot more interesting rotations overall. Epic wants to change, but I don't think Epic wants to change the core gameplay that much. I mean, I, I'm not saying they will want to or they won't want to. I'm just thinking it's gonna, it would be a cool idea. It'd be. Rather keep the jetpacks? Jetpacks are shit though, they're too slow. 
They're not they're not impulsy enough. They don't happen. It takes forever for them to actually activate. And that's really not changing core gameplay that much. That's just amplifying one thing that already exists in the gameplay, which is like impulses or bouncers. It's just amplify it's just cranking cranking up those levels because they need to be cranked up. They should be cranked up. Bouncers and impulses, if everybody had them and used them effectively, the game would be so much better combat wise. You wouldn't be afraid to make these crazy plays and do certain shit in certain situations. People that turtle instead of using these mobility items or these mo the, the mobility effects, I guess, games going still? would be wasting their mats. Like, insanely. I don't know. It's an interesting thing. Take the one v one until they die. What's he complaining about them for? Or what's what's wrong? What does he view is wrong with them? With bouncers and build battles. I wonder what his opinion is on that. I'm kind of interested. Bouncers are probably one of the best things that ever happened in build fights. Second to play. Uh, well, nah, actually, pff, fuck yeah. You know, bouncers are the best thing that have ever happened to Fortnite build fights. The issue though is that not everybody has them. And that's that's more so the issue.